What you are about to see is a social experiment designed to see if eight beautiful women and eight geeks can help each other to become a whole lot more. Last time, the geeks got in touch with their inner Martha Stewart. Ah! And it was Joe that designed the most appealing room. I was working up a sweat, I was dripping. I've never made a bed so fast in my life. In the beauties challenge, the girls attempted to assemble a computer. I don't know where this stupid thing goes. And then I got to the monitor, and I didn't know that I had to connect the monitor to the back of the um, actual screen or whatever. And once again, share studying paid off. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, wow! Giving Cher and Josh, and Joe and Brittany, the power to select two teams to go to the elimination room. Back at the house, Josh angered Cher by helping out Tristan. Do you guys know the name of the guy on Extreme Home Makeover? Ty... Pennington. Pennington! Why did you give her that? Why did I give her that? Yeah, why did you give her that? Cher needs to learn that she cannot just treat people the way she's been treating me. At the stairs, Chris and Tristan were selected to go to the elimination room for the second time in a row. And so were Ty and Tyson. In the elimination room, it all came down to Chris's final question. What is the name of this carpenter and popular TV? <laughs> you know this, you know and in a surprising twist, the earlier help from Josh unwittingly sealed Chris and Tristan's second victory in a row. His name is Ty Pennington. <laughs> Now, six teams remain. Carl and Danielle, Josh and Cher, Encore and Jennifer, Joe and Brittany, Wes and Sarah, and Chris and Tristan. All in a quest to become more than just the beauty and the geek. Walking back up those stairs is one of the weirdest feelings. You can't help but feel like, how many of these people in this room don't want to see my face come through the door? I definitely was probably the most excited when Tristan walked through the door because I jumped up and hugged each other, and I was really happy that she that she made it through again. Yeah, I hate to say it, but when Chris and Tristan walked through the door, I was disappointed. My heart sank. Get out of my face. The chair was giving me fake smiles. Nothing says I love you like putting someone in elimination. Now we know if there's another oh team God, we right. want to eliminate. Yeah. Send you guys in there. Yeah. the exterminators now. Okay, well, what happened? What were the questions? I, I, I actually, I don't want to talk exhausted. about it. We're exhausted. But it was close. Good job, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Well, that's... You're home away from home. <laughs> Weirds me out why they wouldn't tell us what happened in the room. It makes me feel like they don't trust us. I can't really tell what Cher thinks. I think she's very political. She's She's been playing a lot of people. It seems that for Cher, money is the utmost objective over everything else. Most likely, I don't think I'm going to win the next challenge. Like, I don't... I have no idea what the next I'm challenge is. I'm going to really try is. as hard as I can. Well, obviously, yeah. I, mean, I don't all think I'm going to have that kind of luck, you know what I mean? I don't think any of the guys are here for the money, and I think all of the guys are here for the experience. But that money has the ability to change my life. I don't have to work three jobs if I made that money. But. So what did you come here to change, Anchor? Anchor. 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 But no, I mean, I just don't really, like, I would never interact with anyone who's not a nerd, ever. I've never asked anyone out. I've never been on a date. I can't deal with women or relationships at all. By the time I'm done here, I will actually be able to. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had problems so far in dealing with all y'all, so. Being in this close quarters with women, it, it definitely teaches me I can meet new women perfectly fine. Let's change into our swimsuits. Yeah, hot tub time. I'll change into yours, you change into mine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you. First thing after hugs, Tristan says is, hey, I went three for three. I got all my questions right. I got my questions right. You did? All of them? Before, like when I studied, I didn't feel like it paid off. And this time it did, and it was just like, oh, yeah, I learned it. Right. I finally did it. I learned so much about computers. Ask me a question about computers. I know it. Ask me. Can I call you for tech support in the future? <laughs> yeah. Tristan said she was stupid, and she came out of this feeling that she was intelligent. And that's a reason to be here. I'll tell you she got like every question right. 
Oh, she did? Yeah, so she was just feeling really good about herself. We should send her in there more often. Cher's made it very clear she wants to win. She wants to win. Where I want to get something more intrinsic out of the situation. Oh, hey, are you going to finally make it in? Come in. It's too cold outside. I have a fear of attractive women. I don't know how to approach them. I don't know how to talk to them. Just come in with your back. No, when you won't come out, you're going to go in a shock. I don't, I'm too worried about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak my feet. Baby steps. Baby, Baby steps. steps. Every day there's an official challenge, and then there's the Josh challenge. And I just want to complete the Josh challenge every day. I agree. I want, I want to reach the point where I'm comfortable in that high top. game has started, I've always been so excited to find out what the next challenge is going to be. I don't get that nervous. I don't think. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Well, guys, my guess is that you would all admit that dating is not your strong suit. I don't think Encore knows anything about dating. Encore has zero game. He's like game over before the game even starts. Well, hopefully that's all about to change because your study materials will teach you all about how to act on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Dating is, is a little overrated. You're probably better off if you just sock yourself in the crotch and throw away $50. <laughs> Ladies, your challenge will be to help your partner out by giving them a makeover. It was kind of exciting. The girls get to really do what they, you know, their skills and put their skills um, to test. I do carry around a purse, a man purse. I mean, if there were really fashion police, I would be in Alcatraz, locked in solitary confinement. I mean, that's like my fashion sense. There's a car waiting for all of you outside. That car will be taking you to a men's clothing store so that you can pick out a brand new look for your guy. The general look of these guys is like no look. It's like, I'm sorry, but it's the geek look. Ladies. Don't forget that giving your partner a great makeover will actually help him win this challenge, which is more important than ever this week, because the winner of the guys' challenge will pick both teams that will be sent to the elimination room. I've been pulling all the weight so far, so this will be Josh's turn to shine. So good luck. Like I said, the car is waiting to take you to the clothing store, and I'll see you after your makeover. I've never, ever asked a girl for her number or on a date, so this is going to be... A scary thing. Coming up, the beauties face their toughest trial yet. This will get dirty so quickly. I'm not looking for dirty encore, looking for cute. All right, all right. Transforming the geeks. I'd date me. I would date you too. Oh! Oh! Is my nipple still there? Just gonna... We need to reattach it. The geeks show off their new looks. <laughs> but the good feelings don't last. I am not unintelligent, and I am offended with someone calling me unintelligent. All right, then academically uninclined. When Beauty and the Geek... Believe it or not, I was really excited about the shopping because it's one of those things where I, I certainly have a lot of room for improvement. Typically when I walk into a mall, instantly I'm happy because one of like the best sporting events ever is to go into a store and go crazy. What's the W mean, wide? No, oh, waist. Waist. <laughs> That's cool. That looks good, honey. It, this will get dirty so quickly. I'm not looking for dirty encore, looking for cute. All right, all right, fine, fine, whatever you say. Hey. I'm going to have a hard time finding jeans for him. I'm very small. I'm petite. We couldn't find anything for me. So I start trying on all these different women's clothing. If the clothes make the man, and I'm wearing women's clothes, does that make me a woman? <laughs> Beaver hunting? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a winner. I'd date me. I would date you too. <laughs> Hello, ladies. No, it's too much like what you already have. You're trying to go for different here. Okay. I don't consider shopping an enjoyable pastime. It's one of those things where it's purely to conform. Try that. Wait, both of these at the same time? Yes. Okay. You're gonna be a little hot. Get over it. <laughs> Fighting with Encore is not even the word to describe how much of a hassle it was. <sighs> I probably like that one the best, don't you? Uh, I don't know. Since Encore was being so stubborn and hard to work with while we were shopping, I just wanted to get them good. This must go. Um, you can wax a little around the eyebrows, but I don't want it too feminine looking. Right. You know, we still want a little, little, yeah, a little bush to it. Well, you know already, Josh, no matter what you say to her, she's doing exactly what I say, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. We're gonna do a short, but not so, so too short, but shorter and a little messier. Okay. Carl's look right now is really grungy. You need to clean up. You need to get clean your face. You need to cut your hair. And then nose hair coming too.
What is that? It's the comb. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Hold it in your left hand, because I'm a lefty. Oh. I have a thing for uh, left-handed chicks, actually. Do you? <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, oh! Wow! Mm. I'm just going to wax in the middle and just wax just a tiny bit on the sides. Encore eyebrows. It's obvious I'm an incredibly hairy person. There isn't an inch on my body that couldn't be waxed. So it makes me kind of nervous, but it, it, I think it'll be interesting. Reattach it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ah! Can I keep one of the hairy pieces of paper as a souvenir? Oh, I look really weird without chest hair. Hello, ladies. Hi. It's time to reveal the results of your makeover. Yes! Let's do it. Come on, The first guy we'll bring in is Carl. to do with myself when I came out. Hey, look at me. I am a pretty good looking guy. I just couldn't see it before. <laughs> I present to you, Anker. Her eyebrows are fine. The rest of it. <laughs> Jennifer was definitely psyched about the new look. Not only was she happy that I looked great, she was also proud that we had succeeded in what we were trying to do. We love him, and now you know why. Here's Joe. Yeah! Oh my God, you look different! What did they do to your hair? I uh, lost a couple pounds in the head. It was very nice to know that they were checking us out. It's not just that we look good, you know? It's that we've sort of made progress, and you can see that progress. Let's bring in Chris. Chris has always been confident when it comes to his academics, but when Chris walked out and did his little spin, I definitely think that the confidence was different. He was like, I look good, and I am kind of sexy. The first day, I go outside to look at these women, and I'm too afraid to say anything to them. This time, it was just such a change. It was so different. Good <laughs> I feel so naked, really. Without the hair, and they made me put away the purse. I mean, you know, these are some of the most gorgeous women I've seen. Actually applauding my looks and telling me I look good. I call myself in the mirror, and I'm like, you know what? I look so good, I'd hook up with myself. Last, but certainly not least, Wes. <laughs> Wes looks like totally like just a guy I would date. When he walked in, I'm like, hello, Wesley. <laughs> We've always gone gaga over Wes. We've always thought that he was the cutest guy. <laughs> Wes's makeover, I think, surprised me the most. He went from the puppy dog look with the shaggy hair to sophisticated, sexier look. Congratulations, ladies. You did a great job. Guys, I suggest that you get a really good night's sleep because you're going to need it. Now that we've had the makeover and everything, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next. Probably picking up girls or something. I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, you know, this is what we're here for. We're out of our comfort zone, and you just kind of have to go for it and hope that you don't bomb. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Guys, you've all had your makeovers, and now it's time to put your new looks to the test. Today, you're going to be speed dating. Ooh. Upstairs, there are a group of women anxiously waiting to meet you. You only have five minutes to turn on the charm, and then they're going to rate your performance. I'm feeling kind of good that there's no girls challenge because this keeps Cher out of the game, and I'm hoping Josh will have a tough time here. At the end of the challenge, we'll tally up the scores, and the guy with the highest rating will win something I think you'll all want. The opportunity to pick 
both teams to send to the elimination room. First three guys, you can head up. Ladies, you will have a second to give them a little last minute advice. Good luck, guys. Don't make any jokes unless you know they're good. Don't forget, no head. Right, right. Don't do the mannerisms. Don't let awkward pauses build up. Try and be kind of funny. Don't, don't talk about the monkeys with lasers. No. Don't eat these. Uh, why not? They might hinder their breath. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> had an earpiece in and was watching me on screen. So I knew I was being judged by Cher as well as this woman. It was like a double whammy. I'm a little nervous. I'm okay. I'm a little nervous. Fine. I just want to let you know. Dream, relax. It's going to be okay. Josh started off a little bit slow. In his first conversation, there was a really long lull where they were both just sitting there and it was really awkward. I like your necklace. Well, thank you. I got it as a birthday gift. Oh, really? It was actually my birthday a couple weeks ago. Happy birthday. Thank a little late. You. Sorry I wasn't there for it. I know. I know. What I, happened? I, I see, did you get the card? That's just such a stud. You know, life is like Vaseline. It just it can be modeled in any different way. Oh, God, he's dying here. Uh, I work on micro robots. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, I'm, the goal is to build little pieces of silk in like a millimeter cube that can walk. OK, enough about robots. Really? Okay, I'm deathly afraid of robots. Like, I have a fear that they're gonna really? take over the world and it's gonna be like that robot movie. Whoa. We would go um, to Tahoe a lot and we would get kids' passes and say that we were 12. Oh, really? And it would only cost $5. Oh, uh, they bought that? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> <sighs> I'm worried about the big dogs. I just, I'm so tiny. I feel like a lab's going to jump on me. I'm going to fall over. Yeah. Like a little chihuahua. I don't know. I just feel like they have more personalities than like the teeny tiny dogs. OK, move on. Like I snowboard, and so I oh, think yeah, it would be Oh, yeah, me too. You do? Yeah. Awesome. I'd have to say with, with Wes's speed date, he had it pretty good, but Wes still needs help with finishing touches. <laughs> yeah, I'm a programmer, but uh, it, well. Do not mention monkeys. Uh, I work for a transportation studies firm. Oh, good job, Wes. <laughs> we uh, track monkeys with lasers. Track monkeys with lasers? Lasers, yeah. Sounds a little Where weird. Where are the monkeys? You did not just say that. Wes just said he tracked monkeys with, monkeys with lasers. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure being with yeah. you. I say that. I survived three speed dates. I just show myself, if I can carry a conversation for five minutes and get this much information about these women this quickly, you know what? How bad could a regular date be? Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. Don't be afraid to compliment, but don't be over complimenting. How about a nice cleavage? <laughs> How about now? The way that you're looking at me is good. Make eye contact, okay? And don't get nervous. Do what you're doing now. Like, we know we're looking interested because people like to talk about themselves, right? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go, all right? All right. Hey, who's the nervous one here? Man. Honey, I'm sorry. You're okay. <laughs> I'm Carl. Carl? I'm Tina. Tina, nice to meet you. I wasn't sure if I heard your name right. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm very concerned by his lack of talking skills. Oh, I took a class on, on history of prostitution. Yeah. Oh. But what's cool, actually, I liked it so much, I ended up getting like a geisha wallet. He has a geisha wallet. From a prostitute? Oh, yeah. It's that. not like you just go and have sex with a geisha. You've got to do a series of things. You've got to take him on a boat ride. You have to buy him a white horse and go riding with him. Really? Well, thank you for talking to me about a... prostitutes. That was very interesting. I'm from Chicago. So. <gasps> I just went to Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah, How'd you, how'd you like ago. it? It was fun. My sister yeah. lives there. Oh, that's really cool. If she was looking for people to hang out with, let me know, because, you know. No. She's actually pregnant with her second oh, wow. child. Oh, okay. so. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just asked out, you know, uh, a, a woman, essentially, who's on her second child and clearly has no interest in hanging out. Hi. How are you? Christopher. Hi, Christopher. I'm Angela. Angela, Hi. nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, well, just graduated from college. Awesome. Triple degree, psychology, history, and uh, a master's in bow hunting. I thought, I'm pretty good at charming girls, right? Cool. Uh, so you can bring me a deer. Boy, was I wrong. What do you do? I'm looking for a job putting stickers on fruit. You look 
great. Oh, very, thank you. Very like, indie rock esque. <laughs> Got a little edge too. That's awesome. Yeah, Love you it. look. I like your hair. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> This was a pretty big step for me. I think these new makeover is going to give me a little more confidence in the future. Okay, I have to write. Okay. <laughs> She goes, do you like your beauty? He goes, not really. He goes, it's really nice to be able to talk to a smart girl. <gasps> I kind of forgot that Tristan was listening. Tristan! <gasps> he, he knows you can hear him. Why would he say that? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, oh no, you didn't. <gasps> I don't know what he was thinking. I think that he thought at that point the cameras were off, but I was still watching and I was still listening. Hey, everybody. Now it's time to find out which one of you guys has the most game? <laughs> the scores have all been added up, and guys, it was incredibly, incredibly close. In second place was the man who has never, ever had a date before, Anker. <laughs> and the winner of the speed dating challenge is... Wes. proud of my partner during speed dating. Not only did he look great, his personality was shining through. Congratulations, Wes. One of the girls wanted to pass this along to you. <laughs> Angela, give me your phone number, you know. It would have been nice to ask, but I don't know that I have that confidence yet, but just to, to have her give it to me anyway is great. Right. I knew Wes was gonna take it because Wes is the kind of guy who would do what it takes to make a girl happy, and I think that's great. So, you and Sarah now have the opportunity to pick both of the teams to send to the elimination room tonight. You've got the rest of the day to think about it. This is a big responsibility. I'll see you a little bit later tonight. Why, why do you think we're going? Because Sarah wants me gone. Why? Because she said it that I was too smart for here. And even like we were outside, I was reciting a rap too. And she just kept saying, you're too smart for your own good. You're too smart for your own good. Because I know raps and because I know fashion, that makes me too smart. No, that makes me a perfect beauty, but anyway. Yeah. Did you share what Chris said when he was talking to his partner, the speed dating, when he said he was looking forward to intellectual conversation because he hasn't had any since he's been in the house Oh, yeah, no, Tristan heard him. I, I know, because she was listening. I can't believe he said that. Yeah. You should go because of that. You haven't even apologized yet for what you said to me. I did say, I said sorry. I didn't hear you say it. All right, I was trying to flatter her, okay? Just, it just stinks that you have to flatter someone by putting someone else down. No, you're right, and I'm sorry for putting you down. Like, we don't like to think that we're dumb. They picked us guys because we're socially awkward. So if someone were to say, tell me I'm socially awkward, I wouldn't be offended by it, okay? I am not unintelligent, and I am offended with someone calling me unintelligent. All right, well, not unintelligent and academically uninclined. That's why they pick people to be on the Screw show. Screw you, Chris. I'm not academically uninclined. Or whatever the f*** you just said. I bust my ass, Chris. So screw you. Catch up with Beauty and the Geek 2. What type of screwdriver is this? There's types of screwdrivers? It's the Geek Sunday Marathon. Sunday at 7, 6 central on the WB. Chris and I just got in a huge argument, and I, I'm just so frustrated of this whole thing. And like, Chris is like unyielding. Everyone complains about it, but I'm giving him a break, and I'm trying to teach him like, you can't say mean things, you can't do that. Hurts my feelings. And he doesn't bend. He's so stubborn. It's not the first time in my life I've said something dumb to a girl that made her cry, but I don't know many guys that don't say dumb things at one point or another in their life. You know. Yeah, I'm shut that. So, what are your thoughts? What do you What do you think? I'm really torn on this one. I think I think Cher can handle elimination, but then it's like you want to put somebody that's fair. That would be Chris. God, and I hate sending Chris and Tristan. It's hard to send Tristan and Chris because they've already been twice, and nobody wants to go, and they've already had to put up with it. And the other reason to send Cher and Josh is because Josh is starting to like change. Cher and Josh have had the opportunity to send us. And they didn't. Yeah. I'm gonna need some wine after this. Oh, God. This sucks so bad.
Good evening, everyone. Wes, in today's challenge, you gain the control to send both teams to the elimination room. What is the first team? What we all do best here is make friends. For the most part, we think everybody gets that. However, there are a couple teams that we think have taken this to a competition of winning. So, the two teams we've had to pick, Tristan and Chris. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That's all I have to say. <laughs> the other team that we're going to be sending is Dosh and Cher. Really, there's nothing personal. Like, personally, I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way. Like, We think this is only fair way. We just tried to keep it the same on an even, mm, yep. an even keel. Equal. And uh, hopefully if there's any bad blood going in, you guys can settle in the chamber. All right, guys, we're going to test you on dating. Ladies, you're getting a pop quiz on anything you've learned up until now. Study hard, because when it's all over, only one team will be staying at the house. After realizing I screwed up with Tristan, I couldn't care less if they sent me to the elimination room. I wasn't even thinking about that. The partner that I'm going in with thinks that I'm academically incompetent. Why, why did you say that, though? Were you trying to be funny? Because it wasn't date? funny. Did you apologize? Probably now's a good time, dude. Well, I have a lot of experience in sort of trying to patch things up, but I need to be here to learn how to not mess things up in the first place. So... I'm just going to say I'm sorry. I'm not going to say anymore because I know I'll mess it up. Just be, be serious. I wouldn't have, we wouldn't have picked you guys if we didn't think that you guys could not do this. We know that you can do this. You can. You can, Tristan. You guys have already done it twice. You're so confident. You know what it's like. You've been in there. I just felt really bad about sending Tristan again. We just thought that Tristan and Chris, they were the most compatible match for Josh and Cher. I it's not it. a hard decision. Hey, Tristan, I love you. That's how he gets warmed up. Hey, Tristan, uh, I wanted to give you this card before we go in there. Can you read that loud? Uh, no. She you can read it out loud if she wants. Aw, that's so sweet. There you go again, messing up the moment. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a social idiot, and I said some hurtful things. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh, no more crying. Please don't let me cry. And on the inside it says, now let's go kick some ass. Chris has trouble talking and saying things the right way because he comes across mean. Sometimes you're just not good at seeing things the right way. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I actually have a history of that. And you'll find out if we end up staying here, okay? He likes to make cards, he likes to make shirts, and that was Chris's way of saying I'm sorry. So it was cute and it was really sweet. Okay, there's 25 different ways of kissing someone. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. It's all, all right. on you tonight, Josh, so I'm, I wish... But you know the stuff. A lot of I... stuff you know. Oh, God, I don't know as much as I need to know. I feel like if I don't do well tonight, I'm letting Josh down. Um, yeah, good I luck, really Josh. don't you really want to come back tonight. I just feel like there's so much more I want to learn. Yeah, I know. I want to feel like I did last night when I walked into that room and everyone cheered and said how cute I looked or, or when I felt confident today talking to those women at the bar. Okay, because it's all on you. Don't say that. That makes me nervous. Don't okay. be nervous. You want to beat Chris, right? You want to beat his bottom. I do want to beat his bottom. I mean, if, if Chris wins, there's, there's no justice in the world. Well, listen, who's the girl who recently stepped down from the Supreme Court? Sandy O'Connor. All right, who died? William Rehnquist. And who replaced William Rehnquist? John Roberts. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're going to do great, okay? I think we'll both do great. Definitely think that you're more prepared than Cheryl is, and I think I can beat Josh. Third time's a charm, right? Yeah. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> I hope not. If it's a charm, we're in trouble. If my passion for being in this house is as strong as my intellect and wanting to win this game, you are going to see me tomorrow. All right, let's go. All right. <sighs> All right, let's do this. All right, let's go.
Two teams enter, one team leaves, and that team has always been the same team that's left. Chris and Tristan have always walked back through that door, but it's not gonna happen this time, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to mend the Chris and Tristan ring. Tristan and I are facing the toughest team, so this test is probably gonna be the toughest test I've ever taken. Josh and Cher, welcome to the Elimination Room. Chris and Tristan, welcome back for your third consecutive time here. The team that answers the most questions correctly gets to stay in the house and is one step closer to the $250,000. The losing team will have to leave immediately. Gentlemen, you can head across the hallway to the viewing room. You're gonna do great. You're three for three. You're on fire. Okay, ladies, here we go. Tristan, you have the first pick. Number two. Number two. Your question is, the U.S. government agency responsible for tax collection and enforcing tax laws is commonly called the IRS. IRS. What do the letters I-R-S stand for as it relates to this agency? I have no idea. We should have prepared her better. I don't, I have no idea. So, um, inquiry resource solution. I don't know. That is incorrect. The Inter correct answer is Internal Revenue Service. I freaking knew that. <laughs> okay, sure. Please select a number. One. Number one. A USB port in a computer can connect many peripheral devices, such as printers, a mouse, joysticks, and MP3 players. What does USB stand for? Universal Serial Bus. That is correct. Yes. Go ahead and pick a number. Four. Name three of the first five presidents of the United States. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. That is correct. All right, well we're done. still in this. Sure, she's tied it up, it's back to you. Number six. Number six, name one current U.S. Supreme Court justice. Yes, we went over that today. John Roberts. That is correct. I love you. Kristen, this is an important one. Go ahead. Five. Number five. Name the two chambers of the U.S. Congress. The Senate and the House of Representatives. Woo! All right, girl, you did good. That is correct. Okay, sure. Your question. The small pictures on your computer screen, which are linked to files or programs on the computer, are known by this four-letter word. Oh, no. Oh, come on, please. Icon. That is correct. Yes. Yes. Cher, you went three for three. Great job. Tristan, you got two correct. You gave Chris a chance. You guys are both still in the game, and you did great. Gentlemen, why don't you rejoin the ladies in the elimination room? You did great. You did great. Oh, man. You did so good. <sighs> guys, it's up to you. Ladies, you can go ahead and step across the hallway to the viewing room. your pick first? I'm gonna go with number one. I thought so. What is the last name of a famous 18th century Italian adventurer that has become a term used to describe a man who seduces women? He has no idea. It's definitely not ladies, man. That'd be a really funny name for an adventurer, huh? Just muttering. I'm gonna have to go with Lothario. What is Lothario? No. That is incorrect. It's Donald America. The correct answer is Casanova. Josh. Uh, number five, please. Number five. Your study materials list four taboo conversation topics for when you are on a date. Name three of the four. Politics, religion, uh, ex-girlfriends or boyfriends. That is correct. Chris, I'm increasingly important for you to get these questions correct. Um, I'm going to go with number three. Okay. Number three. And if you get one wrong, you are out. Yeah. In the U.S., what date is Valentine's Day? How do you not know Valentine's sure, Day? It's the 14th and the 16th. Oh! My gut is 16th, but... Go with 14th. For some reason, go I think it's the 14th. Go with the 14th. I think Patrick's Day is March 16th. Go with the 14th, honey. Chris, I need your answer. I'm going to go with February 14th. February 14th is correct. Oh, man. Oh, well, you still got two chances to knock me out right here. Uh, six, please. Number six. If you get this right, 
you guys win. No, thank you for telling me that. According to your study materials, if a first date has gone well, when should you arrange for a second date in order to avoid the whole call, don't call scenario? If a date is going well, you should arrange for the next date during the first date. That is correct. Oh my darling, I, oh, 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 wow. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Josh, very well done. Uh, uh, yes. All right, let's bring the ladies back in. Well, congratulations, Josh and Cher. Very well done. You guys did not miss a question. Chris and Tristan, you guys have played this game incredibly well and been very strong. Unfortunately, this is a team that came in very strong tonight. Now, I have to ask you to leave the house. Again, I'm sorry. Until we meet again. Remind everyone what it's all about here. It's not about winning, okay? How are you guys feeling now? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, yeah. I'm feeling. Can I sleep tonight? Do I have to go in the hot tub? <laughs> you can sleep tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I would imagine that there is a group of people that are very anxious to find out the outcome of this we, elimination room. We've been there, yes. I'm very anxious. Well, why don't you guys go rejoin the group? Great job. Congratulations again. think that a guy who's accomplished in academics would be able to learn from eight beautiful girls. And what you end up learning in life is that you can learn something from anyone. That guy that's sitting in the corner of the library that no one ever talks to, he's probably different than anyone else. And because he's different than anyone else, he's going to affect you, and he's going to change you, and he's going to make you a different person. I came in here a little too intense, and I'm leaving a lot more mellow and easy going. Definitely learn to stop overthinking things and just have fun. Just let it go, you know? This experience is nothing like I thought it would be. I thought I was coming to a house with some snobby girls and some geeky guys, and I was just gonna try to win some money. I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with everyone in the house. All right. Thank you. On the next Beauty and the Geek, when the group gets unleashed on Vegas, all bets are off. You're going to be playing poker. Strip poker. Yes. <laughs> Don't get too excited, guys. They're not going to be gambling with their clothes. They're going to be gambling with your clothes. Yeah! Oh, the pants are on Oh, my God. Just take them off encore. We'll have all day. And when one of the geeks makes his move, Sharon West are just grinding. Will he find his lady luck? I'm thinking, where am I going to be sleeping tonight? On the next Beauty and the Geek. This is Lizzie Kaplan. We just finished a fresh episode of Related. Don't miss it.